Hello, hello, and welcome to your favorite channel for all things Roblox, Bus and Blocks. I hope you're all having a great day. We are giving away free Robux. You heard that right. We will give away $50 in Robux. And the mechanics are very simple. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment to win. It's that easy. For this video, we are going to list the best Roblox magic games. But before we begin with today's topic, I want you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Black Magic Black Magic is a 2020 PvP game created by Roblox user KO. It is a multiplayer online game in which you can join one of three factions, Purity, Corruption, or Power. You can also join Verum, Corruption, Lunar, Order, Purity, and the Cyber Legion, among other sub-factions, Power. Will refers to any Power who is not a member of one of these factions. Each faction has its own set of skills and abilities. Every 12 minutes the map changes and some maps make references to the game's lore. So how is this story progressing? There was nothing at first and then came a being known as Exus. He created the real world, the ether, the nether, the aether, and the void, as well as everything in between. He created certain beings to live in the places he desired, as well as beings with greater power than others. However, after seeing his creation, Exus was concerned that the universe would be chaotic. So he channeled his remaining strength and energy into the creation of the two most powerful beings, one of light and the other of darkness. Exus was effectively split into two separate beings as a result of exerting so much power on both of them. Regrettably, he had not anticipated the worst. There's so much in the game that you have to look out on your own. Roblox Mermaids and Magic As they progress through the world of magic, players learn to use a variety of magic spells. There are 23 basic magic spells to choose from, some of which have cosmetic color variations. At the moment, each character can only have one type of basic magic, which they choose at the beginning of the game. As the player progresses, new options for creating their own spells become available, such as blasts, explosions, and high jumps, as well as beam attack, hover, and mode spell. Every base magic has the same set of spells available to it, but each has unique properties that set it apart from the other, such as the ability to inflict status effects improved or decreased damage and speed, or special interactions with other magic status effects. When a player begins a new game, they choose from one of the base magics, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. They're roughly equal in power on their own, but in a team setting, some magic spells can combine to become more powerful, such as ice and water magic freezing enemies or fire and wood magic boosting each other's damage. As a result, the world of magic has a sophisticated damage calculation system for magical attacks. The higher the number of projectiles fired, the lower the damage per shot. Similarly, the longer the duration of an explosion attack, the lower the damage per explosion. Reduced blast and explosion sizes result in increased damage, but a smaller hitbox per shot. The wizards and magic types preferences differ. There are hundreds of different magic combinations to create, as well as many interchangeable aspects and variations of basic spells. Magic Training Magic Training was released in 2016 by the game studio Surfpost, and it's a decent game if you don't want to dress your Roblox character in a full wizard garb. You can actually say spells in the game, which means you have to literally write out the spell and then click to cast it. Isn't it amazing? The game is set up so that you can interact with other players and in-game characters by fighting to the death in a wizard's duel to gain experience and progress in the game. It's a little like a fourth night stand where there's usually one player left standing. The game map is fantastic, allowing you to destroy buildings, properties, trees, and carriages. The majority of players appear to enjoy setting fire to houses, but we're confident you'll enjoy something far less gruesome. Another cool feature is the amount of power you gain as you progress through the game thanks to the spells you learn. There's teleportation, apparition, disapparition, and other cool spells like setting things on fire. Just like in the Harry Potter universe, you can even use the Protega spell to create a shield around yourself to block attacks. But overall, if you want to progress in this game, you need to be really fast at typing because copying and pasting isn't really an option so you'll have to learn the spells and be good at executing them in the nick of time before you can even stand a chance. That is all we have for you all today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below, and I'd love to help you. 
Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, for more content like this, and much more. We will see you guys next time. Take care until then. Goodbye everyone.